Well, this is a project that I'm very pleased to be associated with, and it's an extremely ambitious project, looking at the relationships between museums and nations and nationalism in Europe over a period of about two and a half centuries. Um, whenever I think about questions of the nation and culture, I always call to mind Benedict, Benedict Anderson's conception of nations as imagined communities that imagine themselves as rooted in deep time and with limitless futures before them. But one of the most interesting aspects of this project is how hard the relationships between museums and nations have to struggle to forge themselves against various forms of transnational identifications and imagined communities. So that as we look at the development of national museums in Europe from the 1750s through to the present, we see that national museums are constantly being displaced as they're overwritten by imperial projects of Napoleon, of the Soviet Empire. And we also see that museums, uh, as ways of embodying national imaginaries, have to compete and struggle to find space for their representations in relationship to the transnational forms of uh, the dynastic empires that preceded nations, the Austro-Hungarian um, Habsburg Empire, for example, but they also have to struggle to find space for their representations and their ways of um, imagining peoples and their relationships to territories and to histories. They also have to struggle to find place for national conceptions of these in relationship to the transnational forms of religious imaginary communities. Questions of empire, questions of religion, questions of nation, these are constantly in competition with one another in the history that informs the development of Europe's present-day national museums.